Today's topic is what advice contemporary writers can give to us. And if you've got five minutes, I've got five tips from five very successful contemporary writers. So we all love a good quote or two, don't we? Now as writers, we often look to the famous or infamous to see what wisdom we can mine that we might be able to use. One of my particular favorites is Lao Tzu. I'm fond of Lao Tzu's writings in the Tao Te Ching from ancient China. When he wrote the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu did not know that he was speaking to writers across the ages, but nevertheless, a lot of what he has written has become something that I've found very useful. For example, here is one of my favorites. Care about people's approval and you will be their prisoner. I can't think of a better piece of advice for the 21st century writer, but I actually digress because what I want to talk to you about today is what we can learn from contemporary writers. Modern wisdom can often inspire because it's closer to home. Here are five of my favorites. First, if you wait for inspiration to write, you're not a writer, you're a waiter. The late self-publishing star, Dan Pointer, gave us this one. He began his rise to notoriety in 1979 when he published the self-publishing manual, yes, way back in 1979. He also wrote more than 130 books in his lifetime before he died in 2015. Here's number two. Write what should not be forgotten. Wouldn't it be marvelous if we all could do that, if we could write something that can never be forgotten, but something to inspire us? Isabella Lende, who is one of the icons of 20th, 20th and 21st century literature, wrote that piece. Allende is the author of 35 books that have sold over 70 million copies worldwide. She started writing in 1982 and her most recent book was published in 2021. Here's my third one. You might not write well every day, but you can always edit a bad page. You can't edit a blank page. Jody Picot makes a really important point, especially for new writers. You should be writing every day, at least for practice. You don't necessarily publish everything that you've written, but if you have something to edit, you have something to work on. If you don't know it, Jody Picot is a New York Times best-selling writer who has sold over 40 million copies of her books. And her most recent book was published in 2021. Here's number four. Description begins in the writer's imagination, but should finish in the reader's. For me, this is one of the most important pieces of advice that we, I've gleaned from Stephen King, who, as you know, has written uber numbers of books, is an uber best-selling writer throughout the world, and has also written a very useful writing manual. I've often noticed that it is the most inexperienced writers that seem to think they need to write the most for the readers. Here's the last one. I just write what I wanted to write. I write what amuses me. It's totally for myself. I never in my wildest dreams expected this popularity. Well, I don't think I need to tell anyone anything about J.K. Rowling and who among us has not read at least one Harry Potter book. It has always occurred to me that our writing would be immensely better if we wrote only what we wanted to write, what made us, what we were passionate about. If we only wrote what we're passionate about instead of trying to write something that we think others will want to read, because after all, who knows what other people will want to read? It's always just a guess. And this kind of brings us full circle back to my original quote from Lao Tzu. Remember he said, care about other people's approval and you will be their prisoner. Lao Tzu said it all those years ago and J.K. Rowling said it in our lifetimes. Let's all go and see if we can be inspired now to write something new. Talk to you later. Subscribe to Write, Fix, Repeat. And maybe I can help you improve your writing knowledge and skills. Five tips at a time. <laughs>